Hello guys, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, we're just pulling into Silverstone just because we are going to pull up and have a look at the British Racing Drivers Club's uh, BRDC track day. Um, always lots of interesting cars and people that turn up to these events. So uh, we're going to have a little look around and mill about and see who, can we, who we can see and generally try not to get in anyone's way. So, uh, cool, let's see what we can find. So here we are with the BRDC track day. We've just arrived, but before I go and do any kind of content capturing, I'm having my meal deal. I'm gonna have my crisps, my prawn cocktail crisps. And I won't hear anybody tell me that prawn cocktail aren't the best flavor, because they are. Um, so we're gonna smash these down. So good. And then uh, we're gonna have a little, little look around, shall we? See you in a minute. <clears throat> okay. Obviously. Just a little look at that. That's the level that we're dealing with on this occasion. Very good. meal deal drink of choice today is Pepsi Max Zero. I think you get all the benefits of Pepsi with none of the drawbacks of the sugar. We're just going to start today um, with a BDRC track day. Um, this is where everybody goes that's got all sorts of toys to come and have a go and a play at Silverstone. So we're just going to have a quick paddock walk. So obviously you can see my car here. I've parked next to this lovely family SUV here uh, with another... I'll tell you what the commons muck, aren't they? These family SUVs. These Ita new Italian family SUVs. Um, Sound pretty good there, don't they? Listen to that. Oof. Um, right, let's go and have a quick look and see. I'm a bit spe speechless at the type of people, uh, type of cars that people are just rolling around in at this place. You've got Pura Sangue, Pura Sangue, Monza. That's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? But this is just, this is just the paddock. This is just the paddock. We're going to have a quick look and see what's in the garages. Let's go. Right, we're going to go and see the, uh, the boys at JCR. Uh, there is a, literally, what's the collective noun for, is it a gaggle of GT3 RS 992? I think there's a gaggle of GT3 RS 992 in here. We've got this lovely green one, Mr. Joe, Donny Cocker's GT3 RS in there as well. We've got another one, another one, another one, another one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six GT3 RS in here. A gaggle, I reckon, or is it a herd? It could be a herd. But uh, we may even stick a camera in one later and see how we get on. But uh, have, a, have a laugh in one. But uh, yeah, lots to see, lots to do, lots to hear. Keep you posted in further videos. Let's have a look at what I found here. So what's in the pit lane? All these bits and pieces. The McMurtry down there, I can see. That's quite cool. Silk at Jaguar, Group C car, P1, just standard stuff, really. But we've got a collection here of 992 GT3 RSs. We've got the Dynasty Boys GT3 RS here. And we found my old mate Ben with his new purple GT3 RS. Ben, are we going to go and have two minutes with you and uh, have a chat about your... It sounds like I'm getting bullied into it. You it? definitely are, mate. All right. Let's uh, stay tuned and we'll, we'll, we'll speak to you about uh, this little beauty. Benny, how are you today? Yeah, mate. How are you? Six out of ten. How are you out of ten? Six out of ten, mate. Six I wouldn't go any more than that. Do you want to tell me why after somebody has been wrapping this all day is only a six out of ten? Um, just not really feeling the car today, so it yeah. just uh, feels very new to me. It's a bit like learning to drive again after uh, yeah. two years of owning the car. It's yeah. uh, had quite a few changes, so okay. this this uh, obviously was green last time, yeah. and we've kept it. The we, Verdi Francesca. It was. It was Verde Francesca. It was Ferrari colour. It was peelable paint, so we took it all back off last year when I was uh, having it swapped in for a 992 GT3 and then the price obviously market crashed and I just decided to keep the car um, but yeah this time around we sort of had it done again by Logic peelable paint yep. um, we've had a Ferrari Viola Hong Kong put on it yep. um, and then had the BBS FIRs put back on yep. surface transforms brakes are on it yep. Um, and then the big change for me is the uh, the Manti suspension that I've actually had fitted. Okay. Um, just a completely different feel to the car. 
Yeah. Um, along with that, I've had the JCR Geo put back on. Yeah. Um, which is actually really aggressive this time yeah. compared to the last one that I had yeah. last time. Had a uh, road Geo put on, yeah. not a track Geo. Yeah. So it's um, it's got a lot of different feel to it. Okay. Um, but I'm hoping this afternoon session might give me a little bit more feel for the car and the way that I want to drive it. And so what have we got on this? So we got super sticky Michelin Cup Sport twos. That's it. Which are phenomenal. So the Manthai suspension. What are you finding the key differences are between the two then? Um, you can't lean on it as much as you used to be able to. So there was quite a lot of roll in the old suspension set that the GT3 came with standard. Um, and then this time around, it's quite stiff. Feels quite oversteery. Yeah. Might be just a little bit of suspension dial in settings that I've got to do with it. But at the minute, not really sure. Just got to have a bit of a play this afternoon, see what we can do. So you just got to grow the confidence a little bit. Go and have a send. Probably yeah. get used to it a little bit. Work out its uh, kinks. No race car ever came out of the box perfect. So you know you got to you got to get things uh, dialed in, haven't you, mate? So um, Ben's had the car. How long have you had this car now, Ben? This was a, just a completely stock GT3 RS um, a few years ago, wasn't it? I picked it up two and a half years ago now. Yeah. And then obviously it spent the first six months of its life white, and then yeah. it went to the green that we had. Yeah. And then. Uh, about September last year, we had it all peeled. Yeah. And then, yeah, now it's gone back to this colour. Yeah. Guys, this is a proper bit of kit, this. And uh, I've got to say, fair play to Ben. He's, instead of going make, uh, make the move forward to change it for the latest, greatest thing, he's got an emotional connection to this car. He's put the love and the time and effort into it. He's trying to dial it in as best he can. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, see how he gets on on a lap. And uh, fingers crossed, it stays out the gravel trap this afternoon. Lovely stuff. Right. Ben can always be found on Instagram, on that handle there. Look him up, follow him. It's a very, very cool car. The, black, the man uses the car properly. So, uh, yeah, if you know this car, you'll know that it gets sent around track all day long. No issues at all, but it also gets the love and attention it needs. So ben, thank you very much for talking to us quickly. We shall uh, press on, and I shall let you crack on and go and do some laps with you, mates. Thank you. Thanks, mate. of the pit lane, see what we can see. I'll flip the camera around so that you can have a better idea of what we can find and I'll talk you through what uh, what's about. So, 60s Ford Falcon. I think that's a Falcon. Very, very cool. Big old VA, big American muscle, that's what we like. We've got, we've got Matt Neal in a Civic Type R just driving up there. 296 GT3. No, 488 GT3 I should say. Caught that up the corner of my eye. Goes well. Very purposeful, sat there. Got a McLaren 570S. Wing spread. Very cool. Yeah. Lantai yeah. yeah. racing kit on it. That's a bit good, isn't it? I mean, look at those rear wings, look at those rear discs. Ooh, phenomenal. Very, very good. A lot of stuff's actually out on track at the minute, so I'm not going to be doing this at the wrong time, but it's just giving you a feel of the. How it all kind of looks. Little McMurtry. Hill climb record holder up at Goodwood. Held to the track via a fan. Amazing how this thing uh, operates. Extraordinarily quick. A thousand brake horsepower in it. A thousand. A thousand brake horsepower. Electric car. That's proper that. Stunning paintwork on this Cobra. Very successful uh, historic racing car that run by the uh, Jordan Racing team. Lovely. Wow. That's all I have to say. Silk Cut Jaguar, purple, Group C car, Le Mans. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. What a machine. Right, let's have a wander down the pit lane. So, immediately we're into some historic bits and pieces here. We've got, I think, the, uh, the Mustang that I believe Alex Brundle is running with Jimmy Broadbent. Uh, said hello to Jimmy. What a lovely chap he is. Uh, we've got a classic E-Type. 
I've got the Capri 3100S. That's a hell of a thing. We've got the uh, so this is a lightweight Jag. This is about going to be about 450 brake horsepower, straight six, lots of power, very very leery. But what a stunning looking racing car! They just don't make them like this anymore, do they? And then alongside it, we've got this. Beautiful Mustang as we say, but we've also got this fantastic Capri. You can just see the front end of it poking out there. Quite an iconic thing. Just you wait for that to fire up. That makes a hell of a noise. That's a, I think it's a 3 litre V6. Uh, sorry, 3.1 litre V6, clues in the name. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Not to forget Jaguar C-Type. I'm unsure if this is real or a rec recreation, but it looks pretty, uh, pretty spot on. And then the incredible C-Type. Uh, incredible uh, Group C silk cut Jag. These were raced by people like, uh, well, his dad, um, Martin Rundle back in the day. Uh, there's a few names on the side of that car. I can't read them from here, but uh, clearly it's been to Goodwood. You can see from its Goodwood Roundel on the side there. Phenomenal. Absolutely Moving on. GT3 RS Alley. Is, uh, we've got another, yes, another stoppage today. So I think we're probably knocking it on the head at this point. But plenty to see. Lots of nice people. And, uh, you know, that's a joke, isn't it? By the way, shout out to the coolest lorry you will ever see. Come on, look at that. Golf coloured recovery truck. That is by far and away the coolest thing that is here today, without a shadow of a doubt. Right, so there we have it. A day at the British Racing Drivers Club's official track day. It was um, not a bad day. A few red flags, a few interruptions, a couple of breakdowns, a couple of spins, but on the whole, pretty good day. Some very interesting cars here, that is for sure. So uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that shit. And we shall see you on the next one. Thank you. Take care.